America dumps Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as his approval rating is falling more and more each day. The uh, Meghan and Harry's fan base, they will argue with you and say that, you know what, they're very, very popular. The book was a big hit. The docu series was a big hit, even though I have made videos showing how these two are a big flop. But nevertheless, they will claim victory. Now, you do not need to look at how many copies of the book he sold or the docu series how many times it was watched because these figures can be misleading simply because a lot of people i would say most of the people they go to those websites like youtube or to read his memoir just to be able to find out what is going on not necessarily that they like what they are reading or they are interested in harry or they are supporting harry or megan but they're just there to be able to find out what is going on. So therefore, if you see that the book is being a big hit sold out, if you see docu series are being watched by millions of people, don't be naive to believe that people actually love them. Take a look at the survey. Right now, American people, they are so fed up and they are so unpopular among the American people, Meghan and Harry, that it is being exposed. This poll has exposed that these two duplicitous duo, they're not welcome to the States. They're not welcome for anything, writing books, doing whatever charity work they're doing. They are not welcome to be in the States, not at all. Before I move further, I just want to remind you, most of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel. If you're one of them, consider to subscribe. American dumps Prince Harry Meghan Markle as his approval rating drops 45 points and hers by 36 points after he attacked the royals in his new memoir spare the polling shows that the couple are becoming more unpopular in the u.s it follows the release of prince harry's memoir which attacks the royal family prince harry remains more popular than his wife Meghan markle in america i want to remind you also one thing in the last videos i have mentioned in uk the yougov website they have published the survey megan harry's popularity they were going down and down and down i believe they're sitting right now at negative point their popularity was never steady <laughs> rather it was declining never went up never never i mean just imagine if you are megan and harry supporter think about this never went up prince harry megan marco have seen their popularity plummet in the states in just over a month now this is very very interesting because so far up until they received you know even the hope award you know standing up for structural racism people were somewhat sympathetic to them they were feeling sorry for this two couple and they started to believe their stories but since the memoir was published and the docu series were released they can see right through it because we are talking about those moments harry mentioned his accusations whatever he's saying, his own version, his truth, and we are not finding it credible whatsoever. So Meghan and Harry, by resorting to writing this memoir or by making this docu series, they have actually exposed themselves so fast. It happened so fast, almost overnight, according to this report, that it is very, very shocking. Following the release of his controversial tell-all memoir spur, the couple, who were previously hugely popular in the States, have sunk in the polls as Prince Harry launched a fresh attack on the royal family and revealed a range of intimate details such as how he lost his virginity in his new tell-all memoir. That was part of the thing, really. I mean, I was laughing. It, it is so embarrassing for the Not just for, I mean, obviously, Harry and Meghan, they don't feel any shame, but for us and for our kids to read all of these things, it is quite embarrassing and I, I don't think I will allow my kids to read anything from Harry, especially when it comes to talking about his virginity, his penny. I mean, just come on, man. This is just too much. Prior to publication, Harry had a fa favorability rating of plus 38. According to a December 5 poll of 2000 US voters for Newsweek, that has now plunged to minus 7 with pollsters redfield and wilton speaking to the same number of voters on january 16. his wife has also seen this is coming from megan her reputation harmed by the drama and i have mentioned guys before that 
Megan is going to be vanishing. And she did. She did. For whatever reason. She knew that this memoir, this docu series, will come across as something hilarious, very funny, and a matter of joke, and matter of really big embarrassment. Like, Megan, I feel, she has a little bit more understanding of how people will react than Harry, who is absolutely de delusional. Absolutely. And he is, obviously, we know, he said, uh, you know, taking drugs and delusional guy. She now has an approval rating of minus negative 13 compared to plus... 23 on December 5th. Can you imagine? Just a matter of a month, they are now both sitting at negative. Harry is sitting at minus 7 and looks like Megan is sitting at minus 13. Spare become the fastest selling non-fiction book of all time on the day of its release earlier this month, topping sales charts around the world, including the states, according to the, its publisher. So again, according to its publisher, Random Penguin House, they can come up with their own parkies, they publish this book of someone who is lying all the time so they can also lie even if it was the best selling or the fastest selling whatever they're calling it don't be naive the reason it, it was selling so fast is because most of the people they're curious not they that they support megan or harry the new polling comes as harry's candid revelations and allegations about members of his family most noticeably his brother prince william rock the house of windsor it has also put in jeopardy the royal family's chance to set aside the differences at the coronation of prince charles III later this year which will happen in may the poll which was made up of 2000 u.s voters marks a serious backslide in ratings for the couple who moved to the country after stepping back from royal duties in march of 2020 the main reason why people in the states they don't trust him or they don't trust megan is because of conflicting narratives conflicting stories sometimes harry would say there was no mental health support from the monarchy and megan will also say yeah yeah there was nobody to help me out and some other time you see them doing the saying the exact opposite doing the same exact opposite and saying that oh no we call the mental health and we needed help after especially after had his fight with William. This is what he said. I had to call them mental health support. Ask about whether Harry was right to reveal intimate conversations with his family members in the memoir. 44% said he was wrong with 26% saying he was right. I mean, guys, come on. 44% people say he was wrong and only 26 said he was right. Okay, this is shocking and and this is embarrassing for them too. Redfield and Wilton's poll also found that only a third of the population had not heard anything about the contents of the book. And those people who did not buy it, I want to say thank you so much. Don't buy this book. This is nonsense. Or if, if you buy it, you will be just, you know, wasting your time and money. Harry has been on Media Blitz since the book came out with interviews with Anderson Cooper for 60 Minutes. Michael Strahan for Good Morning America and Stephen Colbert for his late night comedy show. And uh, they are expecting more interviews. I don't think they will be invited to any more interviews and be asked about his private parts. I don't think this is a good idea for anybody. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.